Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. My name is Quinn and thanks so much for joining me today. So in this video, I'm unboxing the Omega VSJ 843RS juicer and pretty much showing you guys everything that comes with this juicer in case you're considering purchasing it. So originally I was going to make this video an unboxing and review and um, have a demo as part of the review. However, when I was researching which juicer to get, I learned so much and I thought I would use this video as an opportunity to not only unbox this for you guys, um, but to also share my findings and uh, hopefully help you decide which juicer is best for you and pretty much share the same information that I use to help decide on which juicer was best for me. All right, so let's first get into the unboxing. I got the Omega VSJ 843 RS, which is a low speed masticating juicer. And here's everything that comes with the Omega VSJ. Of course, there is the base and the juice bowl. And within the juice bowl, there is the spinning silicone brush. And inside that is the screen that pretty much separates the pulp from the juice. And of course, the most important uh, uh, component in that is the auger, which actually does all the mashing. And then we have what Omega calls the hopper, which is pretty much the lid with like the feeding spout. And of course, since there is the feeding spout, there is the pusher to push any um, fruits and vegetables that get caught in it. And also included is the pulp container, the juice cup, and then they also included a cleaning brush. Now, this is not the first juicer that we've had. We had another one a few years ago, and uh, um, I ended up using it only a handful of times because it was on the cheaper side. We got it just because, you know, it was a juicer. We didn't realize there was a difference um, between juicers at the time. And I noticed when I was using that juicer, it, the pulp would always end up being super, super soggy. So much so that I was able to put it into a nut milk bag and squeeze out like another glass full of juice just from the pulp alone. And for me, I felt like the whole process of juicing was already labor intensive and uh, I didn't want to add another step and more cleanup to do on top of it. So I ended up just not using it and we gave our juicer away. And it was at that point we really decided to invest in our kitchen appliances. I did a bunch of research and I decided on this model. Now, before I go into why I chose the Omega VSJ, I want to talk about some of the information I learned along the way and the different types of juicers that are out there and also which juicers are best for certain lifestyles. So there are essentially four different types of juicers on the market right now. Centrifugal, masticating, triturating, and hydraulic press juicers. A centrifugal juicer is pretty much a high-speed juicer that forces produce through a fine metal mesh and separates the juice from the pulp at high speeds. The masticating juicer is a much slower running juicer, um, but what it lacks in speed, it makes up for in torque. There is a single gear in the masticating juicer called the auger, and uh, what that does is it slowly um, pretty much rings out the produce as you feed it into the chute. Now, whereas the centrifugal juicer runs at about 3,000 to 10,000 RPMs, a masticating slow juicer will run at 40 to 100 RPMs, so it's a lot slower. And then we have the triturating juicer. So whereas the masticating juicer has one gear, the triturating juicer has two gears. It's pretty much like two metal rollers that um, roll together and pretty much just really squeeze all of the juices and everything from the produce that you feed into it. However, it is a lot more expensive than both the centrifugal and the masticating juicer. And then lastly, we have the hydraulic press juicer. And the hydraulic press juicer is different than all of the other juicers because it actually spits out the pulp into kind of like a nut milk bag and then um, it presses all of the juice that's left in that pulp out. So you're going to be getting um, the most nutrients from this. You're going to be getting the least amount of waste from the hydraulic press juicer. However, the hydraulic press juicer is ridiculously expensive and it's more often used in kind of a professional setting. 
For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be concentrating on the uh, centrifugal juicer and the masticating juicer because those are the most popular juicers for at-home use. So let's talk about the pros and cons for these juicers. The centrifugal juicer normally has a larger spout or a feed, so you can actually put whole foods, whole apples into it and not have any issues. Um, it's really good for hard fruits and vegetables. And because of its high speeds, it's a very, very quick juicer. So you put it in and you push it down and it juices it immediately for you. Centrifugal juicers are known to be a lot easier to clean than masticating juicers. So that is another positive for this centrifugal juicer. Um, another thing I want to point out with is uh, many centrifugal juicers are more affordable than masticating juicers. The one that we had previously was a centrifugal juicer and I think we got it for around $100. So it's actually very um, affordable compared to masticating juicers. Now there are cons with the centrifugal juicer. First and foremost and probably the least important is that it is really loud because it's such a high speed juicer. Also because of the high RPMs from this juicer, your juice is exposed to more oxygen and increases the oxidation rate. This is important because it limits the degradation period to only a few hours after juicing, which pretty much means that your juice is going to almost immediately lose the nutrients in it because of oxygen exposure. And will only be nutrient rich for a few hours before the nutrients in it starts breaking down. And while centrifugal juicers are good at juicing hard fruits and vegetables, they're not that great at juicing leafy greens and really don't yield that much juice from them. Another con with centrifugal juicers is that they actually don't do that great of a job at squeezing out all of the juice from the produce that you are juicing. So the pulp that you get from juicing with the centrifugal juicer is a lot wetter and there's more juice in the pulp um, than with a masticating juicer. So you're having a lot more waste and to me, I feel like if you're juicing a lot, that ends up being a lot of money wasted or a lot of time if you're having to go through and squeeze out the excess juice from your pulp. All right, so let's move on to masticating juicers and the pros and cons regarding those. Because the masticating juicer is a lot slower than centrifugal juicers, it's a lot quieter also. The gears in this juicer really grinds down and pretty much squeeze a lot of the juice from your produce. And because of the slower process, it isn't introduced to as much oxygen and it really has a very low oxygenation rate. And this actually increases the degradation time to 36 to 72 hours. So you're able to juice and store your juice for a couple days rather than just a few hours with a centrifugal juicer. Now that is a little bit controversial because some people will argue that it really doesn't make a difference. Um, that's just kind of some stuff that I've learned. I think to me it makes a lot of sense um, whether you believe it or not that's totally up to you. And one of the biggest factors for me for a masticating juicer is that it yields a lot more juice than a centrifugal juicer. The pulp normally ends up coming out a lot drier and there's less juice waste with a masticating juicer as opposed to centrifugal juicers. Now, there are some cons with the masticating juicer as well. First, of all, the chute is a lot smaller than a centrifugal juicer. The chute on here is pretty much, as you guys can see, it's very, very small. So you actually have to cut your fruits and vegetables into small pieces before feeding into the chute. However, with the masticating juicer, you can just drop your cut up fruits and vegetables in there and the machine will automatically um, feed itself. Um, so you don't have to use the pusher. This does take a little bit more effort to clean than the centrifugal juicer. And lastly, masticating juicers tend to be more expensive than centrifugal juicers. There are a lot of centrifugal juicers that are fairly affordable, whereas masticating juicers are going to be more moderate to expensively priced. Another thing I forgot to bring up was even within masticating juicers, there are actually two types of juicers. There are vertical masticating juicers and there are also horizontal masticating juicers. And each one of those has its own purposes. So the horizontal masticating juicers are actually really good for juicing leafy greens. Uh, you don't have to cut any stalks or anything like that and you can just feed it through the masticating juicer and it does a really good job at churning it through without really getting stuck. 
However, horizontal masticating juicers aren't as good when it comes to soft fruits such as pineapple or oranges and lemons and such like that. However, with a vertical masticating juicer, it's a little bit more versatile in my opinion and from what I've researched. However, you're not able to just feed whole stalks of leafy greens in here because it's going to jam up your auger. So you have to cut everything into small pieces like celery, kale, and then you put it in there. So it takes a little bit more work, but it is more versatile because it's able to um, juice pineapples and softer fruits a lot better than the horizontal masticating juicer. The next thing I wanna talk about was why I chose the Omega VSJ. I actually uh, originally wanted a horizontal masticating juicer because I was planning on juicing more leafy greens. I wanted to juice more vegetables because fruit juice contains mostly sugar. So I just figured that having a vegetable juicer pretty much will be a lot healthier for me. But because these machines are going to last me years and years and years to come, I wanted a machine that would grow with me and I want to be able to use my juicer when like we have kids. And I know that they're probably going to want juices at some point. I'd much rather give them fresh, unpasteurized fruit juices than having to go out and buy pasteurized, you know, just loaded with sugar juices. So I decided to get the vertical masticating juicer instead of the horizontal. Also, this machine actually has a nut milk function as well. So you can blend up nut milks and then feed it through here. And it pretty much acts like your nut milk bag and just drains the juice from the pulp. I really wanna test that out and I will do that in the demo for part two of this video. This also has a self-cleaning mode. It kind of pre-rinses it for you so there's not as much pulp in there when you have to go in and rinse it. Another reason why I chose the Omega VSJ is Omega actually has a 15 year warranty on their juicers. So it was kind of like a peace of mind things because Many of the juicers I was looking into, um, the masticating juicers are expensive already. And I didn't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a juicer and not have that be backed by a long warranty. So if you're watching this video, there's a chance that you're in the market of getting a juicer and you're wondering what the best juicer is for you. So I just want to break down on which juicer is best for um, different lifestyles. I would say a centrifugal juicer is good for someone who's new to juicing, who doesn't really know they'll like juicing a lot, and uh, who doesn't want to spend or invest like a lot of money into a juicer just because they don't know if they're like the lifestyle or not. Someone who is also in a hurry, who wants to get juice fast and fast cleanup as well. Um, I feel like this person is going to pretty much juice their juice and drink it right away and not have to really worry about storing their fruit juices. And I feel like a masticating juicer is best for someone who wants to invest in their juicer, who wants their juicer to last them for years and years to come, and is concerned with the oxidation rate of their juices and possibly would like to store their juices for a day or two and not having to worry about the breakdown of their nutrients in their juices while it sits there. Another thing is I feel like the masticating juicer is best for someone who's going to be using their juicer on a daily basis or um, quite often so that they're not spending too much money on produce because this yields a lot more juice and a lot less juice waste. So that is pretty much uh, what I picked up with all the research that I did. I hope that this helped you guys and helped answer any questions you guys might have had or um, helped you decide on which juicer is best for you and your lifestyle. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on that subscribe button right there and hit that bell notification so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.